Basic LDAP to eDirectory User SSH Authentication The prerequisites for this tutorial consist of configuration performed in the Basic LDAP to eDirectory User and Group Resolution tutorial. The software versions used in this tutorial are SUSE Enterprise Linux 12 SP2 and eDirectory 903. PAM, Pluggable Authentication Modules, are used by many services on SLES. PAM-enabled services can be customized by adding various modules to the PAM services configuration files. The PAM LDAP package installs the PAM LDAP module that will be used to authenticate via LDAP. Install the PAM underscore LDAP package using the zipper utility. First, refresh the repositories by running zipper reg. Then, install PAM underscore LDAP using zipper in PAM underscore LDAP. The prerequisite tutorial configured the LDAP.conf file for use with NSS underscore LDAP. PAM underscore LDAP will use the same configuration file. SSHD is a PAM aware service, which means it includes a service file in the etc pam.d directory, which can be customized. SSHD services file will be modified to use the PAM underscore LDAP module in this tutorial. Traditionally, services were defined in a single file called etcpam.com. In OpenPAM, each service uses individual files in the etcpam.d directory. Each line in the services file contains a facility, a control flag, and a module with zero or more module arguments. The facilities specify where in the authentication process the module will participate. Auth authenticates and establishes the credentials for, pre for the presented account. Account manages restrictions placed on the account, for example, what time a login can occur. Session manages tasks associated with setting up and tearing down the session. Password manages changes to the authentication token or credentials. This is where the password command will be directed. Control flags control the criticality of the module. Required means the module must succeed for the request to be granted. The remaining modules in the chain are executed, but access is denied. Requisite means the module must succeed for the request to be granted. If it fails, the chain is terminated and request immediately denied. Sufficient means if the module succeeds, request is granted immediately. The chain is terminated. This means the following modules in the facility are, do not take effect. Optional means the module results is basically ignored or treated like a success. Include graphs the modules from the specified file into the facility. This is the default contents of the PAM service file installed by SSHD on SLES 12. Note how common auth, common account, common session, and common password are all included. Common files are used to centralize configuration. This configuration method allows administration to affect many services by modifying single files. Modifications to common files take effect for all services that are including the common files. To enable all services using the common auth file to use LDAP, add a line with PAM LDAP module. 
In our configuration, we will make the control sufficient, so if authentication via LDAP to eDirectory succeeds, there is no need to also attempt an authentication to the local SUSE system by way of the PAM Unix module. The Try First Pass directive tells the module to try the password received above in the module stack, if applicable. The only prompt for a password is using that password isn't successful. Note, the Unix, PAM Unix module is required. This will ensure that either PAM LDAP or PAM Unix is successful for authentication to occur. Backup the common-auth file so it is easy to revert the changes if a problem occurs. Modify the common-auth and add the line including the PAM underscore LDAP module with a sufficient control. To enable all services using the common-account file to use LDAP, Add a line with PAM underscore LDAP module. In our configuration, we will make the control sufficient again so that if PAM underscore LDAP is successful, there is no need to launch the PAM underscore Unix module. Similarly, as done in the common auth file and the common account file, add the PAM underscore LDAP to the common session file. Finally, to configure the ability to change credentials directed at LDAP, add PAM underscore LDAP to the common password file. In the prerequisite tutorial, the user object Linux user was added and resolved on the SLES server. We can now test the additions made to the SSHD services files and confirm logins can be completed via SSH as the eDirectory user. Use SSH Linux user at localhost to test authentication. If authentication fails, a helpful place to look when troubleshooting PAM login is the var log messages file. Look for messages regarding the configured modules.
NDS trace as configured in the previous tutorial with the LDAP tags and all the LDAP trace options enabled is also helpful in analyzing the user authentication.